Hi Pies fans, we are the two-man team from Lully Street, brought to you by United Petroleum. Now, Riv, disappointing loss on the weekend, but an amazing first quarter. Some of the best footy we've played all year, but gave up a two-goal lead going into the last quarter. Run us through what yeah. happened during the game. Yeah, look, our first quarter was, um, was really good. 27 inside 50s, I think we had, which is probably a season high for us. Um, only kicked five goals, four from those entries. So a bit disappointing. We didn't capitalise probably as, as we should. Um, but yeah, our first half was really was probably our best best half of footy we played for a while, and then yeah, to fade away in the second half was a bit disappointing. But um, yeah, we had some good signs, but we still some RFIs to work on. Now, Kyle Kirby's clearly kicked goal of the year. That was an amazing run. What were three bounces or so? He told me six, but <laughs> I think it's, yeah, I think it was three. Yeah. Yeah, no, he's going well. So three goals for Kirby's. But yep. the player I want to focus on is James Aish. We touched on him a few weeks back, but playing as an inside mid, inspired yeah. move by the coach. Thank Got you. similar traits to our skipper, Scott Pendlebury. Very smooth inside mm. as an inside mid. Um, run, us, run us through how he's going and, uh, and whether we'll be seeing him anytime soon at AFL level. Yeah, I think over the last few weeks he's trying to develop his game as, a, as like you said, an inside midfielder. So um, got a bit, to work, a bit of work to do with that. But um, I've, on the weekend you've seen he had nine clearances, um, dominated around the ball and stoppages. So, yes, yeah, he's working on it. Um, he's developing his game and hopefully in the next few weeks you'll, you'll see him at AFL level. Now, yeah, my favourite part of the week, the Lully rankings. As you can see here, Tim Brumette on top, 115, but... A lot of it. want to touch on two of the VFL-listed boys. Marty Hoare. Draftable player. Draftable player. He's going to cop it at training <laughs> again now for that. A few fines for Marty. He's, he's getting... Yeah, sorry, Marty. Sorry. But another player who... Another genius move by you, Rivers. Putting a forward behind the ball. Ash Close. Yes. He is clearly our United Rewards Card Player of the Week. Eight mocks. Marks from opposition kicks for those who well want done. to know. <laughs> well done. Um, yes, smart. But give us give us a rundown on how Ash is going. He's come back into the side the last two weeks, yeah. playing down back. But oh, we we love Ash because he works for the club as well, which is an amazing story as a performance analyst. Yep. So he knows the game plan well. So you pretty so, much you? you pretty much You'd got another coach so. another coach out there, Riv. So yeah. give us a bit of a rundown on how Ash is going and and what he's brought to the table in the last two weeks. Yeah, he's been good. He's he's had a really solid week, um, solid year at uh, amateur level and playing some really good footy there. And then he's uh, wasn't getting a look up for, but with his usual uh, usual role, sorry. So um, yeah, decided to throw him down back. We were a bit short with tools down back, and the last few weeks he's been. He's been super for us, so um, really strong airily. Um, like you said, eight, eight mocks on the weekend clearly shows he can read the ball really well. And um, yeah, just a, another great, great thing to see with a guy that's worked on his game throughout the year at VFL level and, and starting to produce the goods good, for us. Good stuff for the moose. Now, we've been lobbying for this for years. We finally have a curtain raiser. So we're playing Werribee, Etihad Stadium on Saturday, 3.45 start mm. before the main game. You'd probably think the VFL game's the main game, so it apologies is. for that. That's all right. The main game's before the main game. Um, <laughs> that makes perfect sense. 3.45 start. Pies fans, get along. Great chance to see the VFL Pies in action before we take on North. What can we expect out of this week's game versus Werribee? Yeah, look, it's a big game. I think they're ahead of us on the ladder, so we really need to win this game to give ourselves any opportunity to play finals footy. So, um, yeah, big game for the VFL program, and yeah, really looking forward to the challenge because they beat, I think they beat uh, Casey on the weekend. I think, I might, I might be wrong, but they, they had a win. Um, Goldstein in the ruck, so he's, he's a dominant ruckman for them. So um, it's gonna be a big challenge for us, us mids around stoppage. We'll get along Pies fans, make a statement with these curtain raises so we get more of them going forward. Get along, three o'clock gates open, 3.45 start, go VFL Pies. <laughs>